um, let's begin the video. So I made this top for a two-year-old girl and uh, the size that I'm using is a four millimeter. And uh, I'm going to make a chain of 18 chains. And I'm going to meet you at the end of this chain. Um, now I'm going to make on my 18 chain, I'm going to make an addition of one chain and I'm going to put a double crochet in the second chain from the hook one and then a double crochet in that chain and then a double crochet in each of the cha remaining chains so I'm going to meet you at the end of this row so now I'm at the end of our row and um, this is how it looks like and now we're going to chain one and then turn our work and then put a single crochet in each of the stitches by the end we should be having 18 single crochets So at the end we are going to chain one a turning chain and then we're going to put a double crochet in that very last stitch on the previous row and then put a double crochet in each of the next row in each of the next stitch sorry and then I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. So I'm at the end of my third row and uh, going to chain one and we're going to put a single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of this row so now i'm at the end of our row and uh, we are going to start working on our increase and i'm going to chain one And then put two double crochets in that very first stitch from the previous row so this is how we work the increase so two double crochets in that very first uh, chain stitch and then putting a double crochet in each of the next stitches until we have one stitch left on the hook on the row So now I'm at the end of our row that is row five and again we are putting two double crochets in that very last stitch so this is how we work a, an increase so I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to put a single crochet in each of the stitches on the previous row so I'll meet you here I'm at the end of the this row and what you always have to remember is that your last stitch of single crochet ends in the chain the first chain of the double crochet you, you made on the previous row so don't forget that or else your work would not come out right so another row of increase so two double crochets in the same stitch that first stitch and then working a one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end now i'm at the end of my row and i'm going to put two double crochets in the last stitch for the increase for the second increase and what we are going to do next is we are going to repeat rows uh, of single crochet and the row of double crochet and I made seven rows in total so now I'm at the part where we have to do a single crochet but this time round we are going to start increasing on both um, rows that is increasing on the single crochet and increasing on the double crochet row so to increase on the single crochet we are going to put one single crochet in the first stitch and then um, we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch 
and then one single crochet in each of the next stitches and then I'm going to meet you at the end when we have two stitches left the end of the row and we have two stitches left so I'm going to put two single crochets in the second stitch from last and then one single crochet um, in the last stitch of this row so and there you have it the increase row so now we are going to chain one and then turn our work so now we are going to uh, increase on the double crochet row and that is a uh, two double crochets in the first stitch and then putting a one double crochet in each of the next stitches until the last stitch Again, I'm at the end of our row and uh, we are going to make an increase that is two double crochets in the last stitch. So now this is how our work is looking like. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these two rows that is increasing the single crochet and increasing the double crochet until we have the desired length you want. So now I'm at my on my uh, 23rd row. I've finished working and this is how our like, work is looking like. So the second step is I'm going to uh, double crochet but this time round we are not increasing. So I'm just going to work um, double crochet and then I'll meet you at the end of this row. So now I'm at the end of my row. And remember, at this row, we are not increasing anymore. So chain one. Now we are going to work on the row of the single crochet. Again, doing the same as the previous row. No more increasing. So just... To give our top a little bit of length so just working single crochet so I'm now at the end of our row and I'm going to put a single crochet remember this row we are not increasing so I'm going to put a single crochet in the last stitch and then repeat these two rows of not increasing single crochet double crochet and then I'm going to come back and show you how many rows that I did now I'm at the end of this row and I've made uh, three rows that is one single crochet row and two double crochet rows so now we are going to start working on the back straps and I'm going to work a single crochet that is turning our work on the sides working a single crochet uh, only on those rows that we have not increased at this time at this moment you can choose to change your color to white or you can leave it just like I did so now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to start working double crochets so putting a double crochet in each of the previous row of single crochet Now the reason why you might want to change to white for this part is because it will help your um, it will make your straps to uh, look similar the neck straps and the back straps mine um, the neck straps are white and the back straps are um, pink 
come back and uh, from here and then I show you how many rows that I did and we continue so now I'm back and I've made one two three four rows of double crochet now we are going to in decrease them chain one turn and then one So that's how you work a decrease. Yeah. And then one, two. And then we're going to work another decrease. Halfway. And then So again, chain one, turn, one, two, one, two. So now we have two, and then we are going to stop decreasing one and two chain one turn one two so here we are and um our strap is all done just going to pull up a yarn and cut off the working yarn and pull it tight to close it so um this strap measures around uh, uh 28 centimeters yeah and uh yeah 28 29 centimeters and the next thing is a uh, we are going to repeat the same thing as we did on the other side that is making another strap the second strap so now I'm at the end of our second strap I'm just going to chain one and then cut the yarn we'll weave in that later and then this is how our top is looking like at this moment are going to tie here at the back so now the second step is I'm going to use um, to get my pink yarn and uh, I'm going to put a border yeah I'm going to crochet all around but leaving the strap alone so I'm going to put um, to put my crochet in that stitch where we put a single crochet and uh, so chain one single crochet in the same chain as in the same ch stitch as the chain and then single crochet all the way um to the end of this um so now um almost at the end and in this stitch the starting stitch where our chain began from i'm going to put two double crochet so that just to have a smooth uh edge and then Again, working across uh, uh, my top, and then put a single crochet in each uh, stitch. So, again, I'm at the end of my at the end of 
the top of the that uh, and then I'm going to put uh, two single crochet again in that stitch and then work all the way down and then I'm going to work all the way down and then I'm going to come back and meet you here so now I'm at the end of our row and I'm going to slip stitch it to slip stitch in the back strap and at this moment I'm going to change the yarn to white again you're free to change it or leave it depending on what you want so now I'm going to tie it at the back just to make it more secure And then cut off the pink yarn and uh, yeah so we're going to start working with the white uh, yarn so chain one turn again working on top of these uh, yarn ends putting a single crochet in the very first stitch and then in each of the next stitches and he will reach at the top where we'll be making our strap. So now I'm at the end of, I'm at the corner and I'm going to insert one single crochet and then I'm going to make a chain of 20 but you can make it as long as you want yeah then i'm going to meet you at the end of this row of this chain so i'm at the end of my chain and this is how it looks like and i'm going to put a slip stitch starting from the second chain from the hook so i'm just going to put a slip stitch in each of the chain stitches That's how you make a slip stitch. So at the end of our strap, we're going to put a single crochet in the very big stitch that we began with, and that is attaching it to the body part so now we're going to put a single crochet in each of the next stitches until we get to the next corner so I'm now at the end of our second strap and we are going to do exactly the same thing putting a single crochet in that stitch in the very last stitch to attach it and then working a single crochet all the way to the end of this um, row So we are going to work all the way down and I'm going to come back and show you the next step. So I'm the, at the end of our white border and we're going to um, attach it to that uh, back strap with a slip a stitch. Chaining one to connect it. Next, I'm going to put a single crochet in the second single crochet stitch and then uh, I'm going to chain three. So one, two, three and then I'm going to work in the single crochet that we, we just did and then I'm going to put um, three double crochets in that stitch next I'm going to skip three stitches working in the fourth stitch putting there a slip stitch now here you can go ahead and use single crochet or slip stitch whatever you like is going to work for this 
stitch. So now I'm going to chain three, repeating the same stitch that we last did, repeating that border stitch. So and then uh, just like doing exactly the same thing that we have just said, working three single crochets in that stitch and uh, the chain stitch that we make also counts as a stitch so that's four stitches and then skipping three stitches and then working in the fourth stitch and then repeating the exact same thing until you have you reach at the end I went ahead and did the border and then I uh, did it on the opposite side of the top so this is how our top is looking like at this point you can use this same border and put it on the bottom of your top but I chose to go with the uh, fringe yeah. so so I'm going to use this thing that I have in my kitchen but you can use whatever you have to make to make the uh, to cut this yarn so i'm just wrapping it around over and over again yeah Our top is almost done. I just want to show you how to add the fringe if you chose to go with the fringe. there you have it you have to make sure that you pull it tight and yeah our top is done oh so guys here is our little top for our little girl and it's all done so cute so simple so easy if you're a beginner hopefully you've just made your first top and if you have a little girl you should make her one top of these and uh, for the fringe part you can just um, skip putting them on if you don't want and you can go with the, um, this border and then you can use it at, as your bottom border I think it might also look good in the, the back yeah I haven't weaved in the ends yet I'm going to weave them in still looking for my yarn needle but for the back we are going to a uh, tapestry needle, not your needle. So I'm going to, for the back, this is how it ties at the back, guys. So adorable. And your little girl enjoys her summer in her mommy made top. Yeah. About the back strap, the next straps, you can make them longer, of course. And this is our top. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And yeah.